With the Canon C400 and many other cameras arriving with 12G SDI, there's something really crucial that you should know, otherwise you'll fry the camera. No, I'm not making this up. You know, when we're setting up our cameras for a live stream or a big shoot, it's easy to get caught up in the details. Framing, lighting, audio, there's a lot going on. But here's something that doesn't get talked about enough, how you're plugging in your SDI cables. Now it might sound basic, but if you don't do this right, you could potentially destroy the camera and that's the last thing that anyone wants. Whether you're using an Ari, a Canon, a Blackmagic, or any production camera, this applies to all of them. There's a major flaw in how the 12G SDI connection is grounded. And it's a problem that dates back to the beginning of SDI, but it's a bigger issue now. Ungrounded or unshielded devices can send a surge of electricity through the SDI connection and fry whatever is at the opposite end of the chain. That would be one hefty repair bill, and you'd be caught dead in the water before you can even press record on a gig. Here's how it happens. If you're plugging in power using a bad cable or a sketchy connector and the positive pin touches first, it can send a surge through your SDI cable. The SDI cable completes the circuit and boom, you've got a fried SDI output. This can happen with any power source, whether it's internal power, a distribution box, or an external battery pack. Now here's the good news. It's super easy to avoid. Just make sure that you always connect your power first and then plug in the SDI cable. When you're done, just reverse the order. SDI cable out first, then disconnect the power. Simple, right? but it makes a big difference in protecting your gear and keeping everything working smoothly. Another tip, use shielded power cables whenever possible. These will help prevent that unwanted surge from happening because the shielding acts as a power return. And don't forget to check your BNC cables. High quality BNC cables are worth every penny because damaged or low quality ones can increase your chances of running into problems. If you've been hanging onto the same cables for a while, it might be time to upgrade your kit. If you really wanna play it safe, you can even throw an SDI isolator into the mix. These give you a little extra protection for your SDI connection. Just keep in mind that they can reduce signal quality or limit your cable length. So they might not be for everyone, but if you're on a high budget shoot or just want that extra peace of mind, it's something to consider. And quick note on D-tap or P-tap connectors, these are made of plastic, so they don't support shielding. If you're using them, you really need to be careful with how you're connecting everything. It's even more crucial to follow that power first, SDI second rule in these situations. At the end of the day, protecting your gear is key to running a smooth production, and it's something as simple as plugging in your power first and SDI second that can help you avoid costly repairs. No matter what camera you use, this advice holds true across the board. Take care of your cables, invest in quality gear, and you'll thank yourself later. Until next time.